are you there? Hoping that you are all doing great. You're healthy physically, mentally, and spiritually. I will be featuring on how to cope up with stress. This presentation is for all of us. First, what is In reality, fear and anxiety of coronavirus can be overwhelming and cause strong emotions. It's not just our physical health that is concerned, but also the stress and anxiety of the information that we are taking in every 24 hours in a day. It can have a huge impact in our mental health. Stress during this time include Fear and worry about your own health and the health of your loved ones. Changes in sleep or eating pattern. Worsening of mental health conditions. Everyone reacts differently in a stressful situations. People who may respond more strongly to the stress of an outbreak include older people and people with chronic disease, people who are at high risk for severe illness, from the outbreak. Older people are also high at risk to have depression. Children and teens. Frontliners like doctors, other healthcare providers, and first responders. And people who have mental health conditions. How to cope with stress. All of us need to figure out how to cope up with stress. And how you manage your stress will depend on you. Here are ways to manage stress. Number one, take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, including social media. Hearing about the pandemic repeatedly can be upsetting. Take care of your body. Take deep breaths, stretch, or meditate. Eat healthy, well-balanced meals. Exercise regularly. Get plenty of sleep. Number three, make time to unwind. Try to do some activities that you love and enjoy. There are also ways in supporting each other at times like this. Connect with your family members if they are far from you. Check in with your loved ones often is one way of showing support. Mobile networks do not spread a virus. It cannot travel through wires. Using virtual communication can help you and your loved ones feel less lonely and isolated. Talk with people that you trust about your concerns and how you are feeling. There are also ways to reduce stress. Keep your loved ones safe. Caring for a loved one can take an emotional toll especially during outbreak of COVID-19. If your loved one is sick, know what medication they are taking. Stock at least make a four-week supply of their medication. Stock up non-perishable food. Taking care of yourself, your friends, and your family can help you cope with stress. Helping others with their stress can also make your community stronger. But most of all, Taking care of yourself is the most important thing to do. Be a role model to each and every one. I hope that you have learned something about this one and I hope